I don't want to burst your bubble, but today we're going to talk about elevated cakes. Is it magic or not? So there are times when I want my cakes to look like they are elevated. Like for example, when I make car cakes, realistic cars. And today I am making a claw foot bathtub. So the cake needs to be supported only by the tub's feet. If your cake is small enough, this method works really well. And this is how I do it. I am cutting four teeny pieces of wooden dowel. I measure them to be exactly the same, one to each one compared to the other. And the way I decided the height is just by eyeballing what seemed like a reasonable height for the bathtub and then adding a few millimeters so that the dowel can go into the fondant at the base. And this is the cake that will go on top of these legs. It is on a wooden board, a, a cake board. And for extra support, I am going to cut another board, the same exact shape. And now I am going to glue my tiny little leg dowels to this board. I decided to add a little dowel in the middle, but I actually don't think it was necessary to do that. So I ended up taking it out. So the actual cake ended up on only four legs. I'm testing it, make sure it can support the weight and it looks good. So now I am going to cut four holes into the fondant at the base. I measured these with the, with the legs that I glued onto the board so I know exactly where to cut. And now with a little bit of hot glue, I am going to glue the four legs onto my board. This is important because this is gonna prevent the cake from sliding around if you're transporting it. Okay, that's it. And now I am going to glue the board of the actual cake onto this board and my cake will be elevated. I just have to make sure it is exactly in place because once I get it on, I can't move it around. So there we go, done. It is elevated. And that is how I make a gravity-defying illusion of an elevated cake. I know there's a lot of really cool gravity-defying cakes and elevated cakes, and I would love to hear what your favorite or the most mind-boggling gravity-defying cake that you guys have seen. I'd love to hear about it, so leave me a comment. And Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see the whole cake, the bathtub cake made from beginning to the end and the whole process of what it actually takes to make one of these really cool sculpted cakes, stay tuned because I will put out a video 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, share my video, that bell icon, all that stuff helps me out so much. So thank you again for watching. I will see you guys again next week. Bye.